in, in this debate over the scientific explanations of complexity of the cell and the fossil record, I analyzed all uh, the uh, uh, attacks and the people that were arguing against us. And basically, they didn't argue against the sudden appearance or the stasis. They said those are facts. They didn't argue against the complexity of the cell. Uh, and basically, it was, uh, what I really discovered was statements like the 21st Century Science Coalition. It's a group that got organized in October and to uh, argue for good, strong teaching of evolution in schools. And they came up with some bullet points. Their first bullet points say uh, that instruction in evolution is vital to understanding all the biological sciences. Well, I said, that's not true. And you, know, and, and you base that I base it on your the personal theory. point of view in philosophy as opposed to any scientific basis. No, sir. You go over here to the University of Texas, the biology labs, and you go in, and I've asked this to biology teachers and professors, unless they're studying integrated biology or one of the disciplines of evolution in biology, they're just studying fruit flies, or they're studying, or they're studying plants, they're studying botany, they're studying uh, the, the bacteria and all that. It makes no difference if evolution is true or false or what they're doing in those lands. That's just a fact. Now, what, it, it, what I finally discovered is, so that was the first bullet. Instruction in evolution is vital to understanding biology. I had this, uh, one of my second cousins that was in a master's degree program up at Harvard University. And, Family reunion, I asked her just two or three years ago. I said, hey, does it make any difference if evolution is true or false? And she said, no. And you're relying on her. Well, obviously, that's an example. As to Nobel laureates and science scientists that might be working at the University of Texas? Well, I'm also a pilot of just what's actually going on in those labs. It makes no difference if evolution is true or false. But you know, but genetics, genetics. It's not controversial, but genetics is the foundation for all of them. And instruction in genetics is vital to understanding all of biology. So the way I see it, Senator, is we're kind of equivocating uh, evolution for genetics, but I don't deny genetics. Genetics is good, solid science. And genetics, to me, is the foundation for all of bio biological sciences. And uh, so I, I just look like it was a, a fallacy stating its importance of evolution. They also said the second bullet, the 21st Century Science Coalition, signed by, oh gosh, uh, it's almost 600 PhD scientists in the state of Texas, over, over 600, so over 1,400 uh, professors and graduate students and others have signed this statement. Their second bullet stated that uh, evolution has been shown to be true beyond any reason uh, evolution is but I forgot, I just have to Evolution has shown to be true beyond any reasonable doubt. You know, it's, uh, well, it hasn't, it just flat hasn't been shown. I guess, I guess maybe what I was, and so the, the original question I asked you was about the hornet's nest. Correct. We could probably sit here and talk about your, your sister-in-law or whoever, whatever, right. and her points of view and whether that ought to be in our Texas uh, school books uh, or in, as part of the curriculum. As opposed to relying on PhDs and Nobel laureates and things like that, we, we can debate that on last, but it's actually probably not. Uh, but my question was: Do you at least perceive that your role as chair of the State Board of Education has created controversy and question? about the role you're playing in the education of our children and stuff. Well, I think my role is, is, as a board member in this debate over the evolution, because like I said, I didn't chair when I was in the state. Let me be more specific. You, if, as your role, as a board member or chair, do you, do you at least get that you're a point of yes. significant controversy in the state of Texas? Oh, absolutely. And, and, this controversy, I, I got appointed chairman in July 2007. The first question I was driving from Brian coming to a board meeting the next day, we're starting to board meeting, the first one I was going to chair. The first questions I got from reporters was about 
about science and evolution. I was stunned because I said, we've got English 